Hello and welcome to another development log of Project Third Eye. Right now, we are in the mod room. So this is very basically a very uncomfortable room with no doors and windows. But what you have is a UI window. And this UI window is from a prefab from mod IO. Please let me down slowly. So this right here is from mod IO. That's basically the uh, out of the box prefab for their uh, website thing and what mod io is it is basically a website that lets you upload and download mods and then you have these fancy uh, thumbnails and buttons and all these fancy stuff right here that you can use basically straight out of the box which is extremely convenient so you can basically, you have all the downloading file hosting stuff outsourced to their platform, which makes it extremely uh, easy and fast to implement. Okay, that's what we have right here. So basically a uh, download and upload service for mods. The thing is you have, you still have to load the mods and someone has to make the mods. And this part doesn't really work at the moment. So we don't have any proper mod support because the modding frameworks that I was looking into, more specifically UMod 2.0, was not made for or did not support Android. And since Project Third Eye is uh, mostly played on Oculus Quest, which is Android based, of course, this is problematic. Yeah, so we'll fi have to find another way to get this working on Android. But uh, for now, we have not proper mod support with real mods, with custom models and all this. But we have in-game mods. So we have the boring version of mods, basically. And these mods, how they work is they reference only in-game stuff. And then you can load these combination of references. So um, as you may know, in the game, there is the save box. And you can put stuff in the save box. And then when you have uh, saved a bunch of items, oops. Oh boy, that's not good. Yeah. Then you can also load them back into the game. And these files that are created in the process can be uploaded to mod.io. For example, this hoverboard right here. So basically a snowboard with two thrusters. I think I changed it along the way to a skateboard. When I now click, um, so this is basically the whole page of the snowboard, uh, the hoverboard. When I now click subscribe, it downloads and subscribes to the mod and now it shows up in saved items. So I can now spawn the hoverboard that I made, I don't know, a few days ago. And now we have the completely functional code. It, it doesn't work actually. <laughs> but um, yeah, we have in theory functional code. So uh, visual scripting code in Pro Project Third Eye script. And we have uh, the two thrusters and all the joint connections that I made two days ago, all properly working on the um, skateboard, basically. So this is uh, a way people can create uh, stuff in the game, save it with the save box, then you can upload it to mod.io and other people can just download it. So basically we can have a lot of content um, simply by Simply by, what is this? The size gun. Simply by um, having in-game references and uploading them to mod.io. So this is not proper mod support. This is just uh, yeah, variations of in-game references. So that's why we cannot have, I don't know, let's say a different car model or something, but we can have stuff people build and saved in the save box. And then there's another way you could save stuff. And this is more a global way to save things. And this is by the map saver. And the map saver is basically the save box, but globally for the whole map. So you could have a bunch of cubes, for example, and make cubes out of a map. Um, you could make a ramp in a map out of cubes and then save it and then other people can just load it into their game so for example uh, here's an example for this mechanism 
This one, this here right here is just a cube. Uh, this specific example could have also been saved in the save box, but to demonstrate the main the principle, I will just show it. Yeah, I will just show how this works uh, with this example. So this is just a two by two by two cube that I'm now going to subscribe. And once I did that, it doesn't show up in my saves, but it shows up in downloads. And here we have the cube that I can now load. And yeah, this file wasn't saved locally on my computer, but it was uploaded to mod.io and then just downloaded by the mod.io interface. Okay, so that's the downloading part. Uploading um, also works, but uh, it wor only works in the browser, so you have to have to leave the game or go onto a PC to upload stuff. That's a little bit inconvenient, but uh, I'm sure there's ways to do this but I just haven't figured it out yet. Okay, so that's it with the in-game builds and the map modifications that you can make and upload. And I think that's it for the mod support right now. Then we have uh, new buttons, a new lever that doesn't have a hand snap zone yet. Then we have a new joystick and an IMU sensor and a distance sensor. So basically, all five sensors from the game now in a unified way they now all look the same and i think i'm going to do this to all features in the in the building and hardware section to have them more polished and unified in the game to make it all look a little bit more polished up and stuff okay that's it for the sensors and there and of course they're also that up right now so they're also already usable in the game then we have the rck uh, plane the rc car that i made that's what i want to say um let me get the transmitter really quick there it is okay here we have the transmitter and we basically have a fully functional rc car it's a little bit drifty. I think it's a lot of fun to mess around with this thing. Very cool. Yeah, that's something I implemented in, I don't know, an hour or so. It was a really cool project and I really like the results. It's a lot of fun to mess around with. Okay, and then I think there's something else that I need to show you. And for this, we are going into empty or the dome map. Okay, so now we are in the dome map. And let me check if the recording is still running. And it is. Okay, you might ask yourself what the fuck this is. But this is a prototype for the tool gun. So instead of having a lot of guns, I now... Um, I don't know, pack them all together in this thing. And now we have the switch and the switch is working in steps. So that's uh, 45 degree steps. So we have eight different switches and it snaps in these uh, positions. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see this properly, but uh, yeah, you also feel a little bit of resistance once you turn these things. And yeah, so you have different modes like this freeze gun. Now it's freezed and then we have the joint gun so we could fix the car for example to this cube right there. Yeah, that's how you make a joint. Then we have the material gun, different materials or what else do we have? The dupe gun basically duplicates. Oh yeah, so that was the duplication gun that I forgot last update. So it now can um, now it can duplicate all connected objects. So I select this object, but it also it automatically searches through all connections recursively and uh, yeah duplicates everything that is connected in some way. So for example, um, if yeah. Um, let me get the joint gun back. 
the joint gun, if I connect this cube to this car right there, or, yeah, I don't know, then I connect this car to this cube. So now I have, I think, eight items and go back into the dupe gun. There it is. It should, yeah, it basically dupes the whole thing. And it works just fine. So it recursively searches through all the things. And is there anything else worth showing or worth talking about? Then, of course, we have uh, the transformer tool and the UV adjusting cubes and all of these things. Um, yeah, and then something freaked out. Nice. Okay. So, um, and with these cubes, you could, I don't know, build a huge map and then just save it in the menu save. Oops. Uh oh. I think I broke the whole thing. That happens, so I haven't really uh, figured out yet how to fix this issue. <laughs> but I think uh, it will happen somewhere along the line. And of course, I need a proper model for the for the tool gun. And this will be the category. This will be the tool. And this will be some additional setting on the tool. I think that's how I'm going to organize it. And I'm really not sure if I should stay with the switches or if I should have another mechanism to change stuff. But that's basically everything I have to say and everything I did during the week. And now, is there anything else to say? I don't think so. Now, follow the development of Project Third Eye.